Hello, this is Evan Rogerson, also known as Nine Motor Gang, and today I'm going to be going through and ranking all of the Vex wheels on a tier list. This tier list is not specific to any one game. Um, it would probably be shaken up a bit for more climbing oriented games such as Over Under. And then additionally, this is only going to be counting wheels as they're used on a typical drive base, not things like an intake or a flywheel. So I'm hoping that teams can learn a little bit from this about each of the wheel types and find this as an entertaining video. So we're going to get started with the 4-inch anti-static Omni wheel. Um, this is a solid wheel. It's one of the skinnier wheels. It has lots of good mounting holes. Um, only problem is it's a, one of the 4-inch wheels, um, which means it doesn't have many great RPMs. 300 and 343 are really the only good RPMs for this on a 6-motor drive. Um, 257 works as well, but you're going to struggle with traction with these. The new Omni wheels don't really have the best traction. And again, it's a larger wheel, so... It's just going to take up more space on your robot, and typically you'll have a higher center of gravity. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a B tier. Next, we have the 3.25 inch Omni wheel, um, very similar to the 4 inch wheel. The only thing is, is I'm going to give it an A tier just because it's a little bit smaller, so you're not going to have some of those issues with spacing that you would on the 4 inch wheel. Then the 2.75 inch anti-static Omni wheel, again, similar reasons. However, this also has the added benefit of being the best wheel to use for a tracking wheel, as it will give you the highest resolution because it's smaller and it's the lightest, so it's gonna take up less weight on your robot to use as a tracker. So this one I'm gonna give S tier. Next, we have the four inch anti-static traction wheel. Um, these new traction wheels, they have very high traction, very good. And they pair very nicely with the new Omni wheels. They're all the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much just match them all up. However, the traction wheel variant for the 2.75 inch Omni drive is not as viable simply because you can't use it for tracking wheels. Using traction wheels on an eight wheel drive, which is what you would typically want to use with 2.75 inch wheels, isn't as viable. So I'm going to keep it at eight tier. Still a very good wheel. Definitely has its uses, um, but not as good as the Omni variant. Next, we have the four inch Meccano wheels. These really aren't great. Um, you have some uses where you would definitely want to use them. Mechanum wheels have a couple of problems with them. Namely, they don't work very well with six motor drives, simply because you need to power each wheel individually. You can't chain them together. So I'm going to go ahead and give them D tier. They definitely have some uses. They're just not the most practical. Um, 7K is a good example of mechanum wheels being used well but I think they're significantly less viable now that six motor drive has become the meta with the changes to the new match wheels. Two inch mechanic wheels, they suck. Um, you're probably thinking I've never seen these wheels before in competition and there is a reason. These have all of the flaws of the four inch mechanic wheels and more. First of all, they have absolutely no viable gear ratios. Like the closest thing they have is like 600 direct which is a bit fast, but you're going to need to build really light using these anyway because they have their other flaw is that you can see that the rollers are so small that they very, very easily have the plastic frame dig into the tiles. So if your robot really weighs over about eight pounds, you're going to start to sink the plastic into the tiles and you're not going to be able to drive. So these wheels are just not at all viable for a drive base. Don't use them ever on a competition robot. They'd be fine on a plastic field, but on the foam tiles, they just don't work as wheels. Next up is the 5 inch traction wheel, which is F tier. Um, these wheels, they I mean, you can use them, but they, they aren't good. They don't have a matching Omni wheel variant, which means that you either have to run different size wheels, which gets very, very complicated for making sure that their speeds match, or you have to run all traction drive. Both options suck, and they don't even provide the best traction anyway. Now, the 4-inch traction wheel is D tier. They, they simply just have way less traction than the anti-static traction wheels. This one has not very good traction. It's okay. Um, they also are different sizes than the matching Omni wheels, so you'd have to use them with the 4-inch anti-static Omni wheels, which if you have these, chances are you probably have those as well. Um, I mean, you could use them, but these also don't have mounting holes, which makes them harder to screw joint. Next, the 3.25 inch traction wheels. These have absolutely no traction at all. They're terrible. You can see those bumps on them. Yeah, that's, I don't know why Vex designed them that way. It's a terrible design. Um, again, all the flaws of this wheel. 
Um, at least they have mounting holes, but again, just use the new ones. And if you can't, um, it's really easy to make something out of a flex wheel that is way, way better at traction than these. Never use these in a competition. At 2.75 inch traction wheels, they don't suck as much. Again, they don't have the mounting holes, which makes it awkward for screen pointing. They don't work as well as the new ones still. They're also a bit skinnier, so maybe if you're trying to do something weird, they have a use, but generally just use these wheels. They have more traction. Now to the Omni wheels. This is where things get interesting. Um, these are 4.125 inch Omni wheels, which means that they are not the same size as these wheels. You have to treat them as their own category, which means you also, they don't have a corresponding traction wheel pair because um, these ones are smaller and these ones are smaller. Now you can lock these wheels fairly easily to make traction wheels, or you can just run full drift drive. These wheels are also wider, which is a bit of a disadvantage, and they don't have mounting holes, which makes them harder to screw joint. But they do have a couple of really good pros. They have very high traction, about the same as the new anti-static wheels, but they're Omni wheels. This means that they work great if you're trying to do a high torque drive, because you can get away with having less wheels, and they have very high traction all around. A good example is 3141A's Tipping Point Robot. If you don't know that, look it up. Um, it uses these wheels. These are your, if you're trying to push someone really well, this is what you want your drive built out of. And they're a bit wider, so that's really, and they're harder to screw joints. Those are kind of their cons. Still, they get an A tier. Definitely very, very useful in some scenarios, but they have a couple drawbacks. Now, the 3.25 inch wheels, these are pretty much identical to these ones. The only difference is these ones are slightly thicker um, and they have a couple less mounting holes. So they're gonna get B tier, definitely still usable. I use them on my Spin Up World Spot, very good wheels. It's just these ones, I would use them if you have them, but you don't need to go out of your way to get these. Very good wheels. And then the 2.75 inch Omni wheel, these ones, unlike the 3.25 inch wheels, these ones do have some drawbacks. They're significantly wider and they lack some mounting holes. Um, you can still screw joint them, but it's really awkward. They're way thicker. They're about the same thickness as these wheels, which makes them just not as good. And they don't have as many rollers, so they're going to have a bit more friction. So they're a C-tier wheel. Definitely still usable in some scenarios, but definitely try and get a hold of these ones. Well, that wraps up the tier list. Hope that you learned something from this. If you want to make your own, there will be the link in the description. And if you have anything that you disagree with, feel free to leave that in the comments or any questions about the wheels that you don't think I covered well enough. See you next time.